Hey everybody, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So just showing you here is my spread for uh, Monday, May 13th through to Sunday, May 19th, where I used the Free Spirit sticker book and did a little bit of stamping as well. Actually, that stamping is going to translate to this page because I had um, one of you a uh, lovely YouTube subscriber say, I'd love to see an all stamp spread. And you know what? I decided I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take these out of my mini happy planner. And actually, I'm going to place them just on a sheet of white paper here because it'll be, because of how messy I am, it's always best to do your stamping on a piece of white paper. And I'm going to be bringing in, I'm going to be bringing in maybe one or two stickers, but mostly it will be these so this is the uh i guess the date stamps from the happy planner these are the older stamps from these were i think only released in like hobby lobby or joanne's a couple of years ago but i'm going to bring in some other functional stamps as well and then possibly for some decorative flair incorporate let's see just no i really should get this ready beforehand maybe incorporate some florals and some of these florals as well. Yes, that's a lot to take on with. All right, let's get started. So first things first, I'm just gonna tell you what I guess you'll need for a stamp spread like this. So obviously I showed you the acrylic stamps that I have. You can use wooden stamps like, I'll show you. Wooden stamps can look like this. These are from Michaels and they're fantastic, just as good as the acrylic. Um, and then get yourself some ink. So my go-to for black ink is this VersaFine Onyx Black and it's pigment ink for really, really great for fine details. I bought this two years ago and it is still amazing. And then um, buy yourself maybe some colored inks. I just bought these ones, these Studio G ones. This is pigment ink, really great for paper like this. And I bought this at Michael's and these were actually quite inexpensive. And make sure you can get yourself, if you're using acrylic stamps, such as the Happy Planner, for example, make sure you get yourself an acrylic block. So I got these, again, at Michael's because I don't really have a Joann's or a Hobby Lobby next to me. So basically these are acrylic blocks that you can place the acrylic stamps on. And that way it's actually easier for you to see where you're placing them down. That's actually, ooh, sorry for shaking the camera, but that's one of the um, advantages of having, I guess, the acrylic stamps is that you can see directly where you're placing it, whereas with the, the wooden stamps, you can't always see. So those are the things that you will need if you want to do an all stamp spread. Now, get that out of the way. The first thing I'm gonna do, because it is an all stamp spread, I do wanna cover this up, and I'm going to cover this up as well. So, I'm going to go into the journaling sticker book here and find a large, it's too large, a large box to cover that up. And just as an extra precaution, because I don't really want anything showing through the stickers, is just whiting using some white out and this is just the paper mate dry line grip where did i get these you can get these at staples and i'm sure there's other kinds as well but this one i think i got from staples or walmart no not it doesn't have to be some crazy fancy store now i'm going to place this down here and i'm going to do some more whiting out on the sides because i can already tell that it is going to show through and I don't really want it to. Oops. Okay. So just place it right on the line. And it covers that up. And then I'm gonna place another one down here. I'm just not sure which one yet which size would fit there. I might have to cut one down. This one might work. Yeah. This box might work. Let's move this over. And what I might do as well is actually just white out that whole thing because I don't 
want it peeking through the sticker. I mean, the colors on this page are great and I made great use, oh crap, <laughs> great use of those colors last week, but I uh, really wanna focus on the colors that I'm gonna using in, be using in the stamping that I'm doing this week. So, just place that like this. Okay. So I've basically covered up the places that are colorful. I'm gonna cover this up as well and I might place something else there or I might just cover it with a stamp. But we, you know what, I'm gonna just wipe that out now. Okay, so that portion is whited out. I'm gonna remove this actually because I wanna focus on this decorating this page here. Let's move my chair. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Joanne sticker book because there is one sticker that I want to use as my uh, color scheme. And it's really unfortunate that this book is falling apart, but I'm using this kind of blue because I know there, the reason that I chose this is because there's actually quite a few of these stickers and like, there's different ones there as well and I can use them all over the spread. And I have a stamp block that matches perfectly. So, let's see. I think I'm gonna use this one be, just wanna make sure that it will fit. I feel like it's a bit too big now. So, let's use this one. The go the extra mile, oh my goodness. It's never crowded. Love it. And then I'll place one smaller one here. Actually, even before I do that, I'm not gonna go in and place one just yet. I'm going to, here we go. No, that's not what I want. So along with all the kit that you'll need for doing a stamp spread, I always like to also have a piece of paper just on this side because I don't want the stamping to necessarily go over pages or parts of the page that I don't want stamped. And that's one of the tricky things with stamping, is that you've got to be a bit more careful about where you're placing the stamp. So these are clear stamps from um, Michaels, once again. I'm going to do a little decorative, <laughs> decorative art down there. So I'm gonna take one of the florals, probably one of the smaller ones, And I know I think maybe place like a couple on there. So firstly, place it on the stamp block. Then ink it up. The only thing with this one though from Michaels is that it's not gonna ink up as well as the, uh, the Versafine, what I find. Okay, then I'm going to actually just place a piece of paper on the side here, so I only get it within the sticker. And nice even pressure. Cute. I see there's a little bit of space where I didn't get any, but that's okay. Now, do that again, and I'm probably gonna do it on the other side. If not on the other side, then I will do one whole one. Actually, I'll do one whole one here. Nice even pressure, cute. And actually I don't mind the little ones where it didn't go all the way through. Absolutely okay. And then lastly, I'll do one in the corner. And I gotta be careful about this one. So I need almost a second piece of paper. Just rip that one. Second piece of paper to go in the corner so that I only get the stamp where I want it. And I mean, you can cover up these areas with washi and then rip them up after, or post-its. Post-its are probably way easier than trying to act like you have three hands. Nice even pressure. 
Oh, I like that. Very, very cute. Very cute. One thing I forgot to say was to make sure you have some wipes with you as well so that you can wipe off the ink from the acrylic pad, which is what I'm going to get now. So you just need regular wipes just to wipe off some of the ink. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can actually wash them a different way, but I do this because I'm messy. So placing that back in my, where does this go? Oh, I totally mixed stuff up in here. Huh. That's okay. Go back in this paper here. Now, I'm trying to think. Um, let's see, there's all these cute little florals as well, or, ah, I know what I'm gonna do. The only thing with stamping is that you basically have everything spread out everywhere. So, and I don't have the largest desk in the world. So I'm gonna go into this new stamp set that I got at Michael's. This is also, I think, available on, I think in Joann's and Hobby Lobby, but also in um, the Happy Planners shop. So I'm gonna take this one, which is gonna look like a paint streak, and place that on my block. How do I want it to go? Like this. And place it just like that. And then one of the things that I learned from Jenny McGarvey is to prep your stamp. And what do you mean by that? Is just rubbing it along your hand like that, just so you prep it to be able to pick up the ink. And what I'm gonna do, again, just get some ink on my stamp. Now, I've never stamped on top of places that I've put like white out, so this will be interesting. And gently, as you can see, I didn't place the ink. Oh! Now, I didn't place the ink as evenly as I would have liked to, and I could try and remedy that, but I'm always fearful of trying to stamp again on top of something because I don't know if I'm ever gonna line it up again properly. But actually that helped. It made it a little bit darker, which is good. And then I think, I had an idea for what I wanted to do for bills to pay. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I'm going back to, <laughs> I have posts on my Instagram page or uh, saved posts on my Instagram from my like, other ideas from other planner babes just to kind of help me organize what I want to do. Like they have great ideas and then I try and implement them and make them work in my spread. So let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the to buy as it is. And then hmm, I might just place a box over that. So I'm doing mixing of stickers and mix of stickers and uh, stamping, but doing the best I can. So let's see. I'm gonna use one of these boxes to kind of cover up the bills to pay because it's gonna be for lunches and then I'm gonna do something different here. Although, maybe, I feel like there's other boxes that I want, like a darker box. This is gonna be quite boxy. Mm, I almost don't want it to be too boxy. I'm thinking, thinking about what I want to do to cover up the bills to pay. Give me a sec, ooh, yikes, sorry. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm actually just gonna put down this black quote here to kind of cover up the bills to pay. And I'm gonna lay this down right center. There we go. 
And then I'm going to do something that might be a little bit laborious. Um, I'm wondering if I should. Okay, what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this circle, place it on my stamp block, and for versifying it now, not versifying it, that should be a phrase. And then just, will there be enough room? One, two, three. No, there will not be enough room. I've already inked it and there's not enough room. Okay, change plan already. Because one of the things is because this is a mini, I think some of the stamps can get a bit too big. So instead, I'll use one of the itty bitty, like, whoops. Mm. Oh, here we go. I could use one of the checklists in one of these. Like the heart checklist, yeah, totally. The heart checklist is nice. I won't, and I'll show you a trick where if you don't want to use the whole stamp, you actually cover it up with washi when you ink it up. So place the stamp on the acrylic block like that. Grab some washi that you don't mind not using. Because I know I'll need one for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'll leave it, I'll put washi down so that the bottom two don't get covered in ink. So watch what I do. I'll still stamp it and ink up the rest of the block. But then make sure to remove the washi. Place it somewhere that you're not gonna get it everywhere. And then just place it down like that, and now I don't know if it's straight. Hmm, not too bad. Okay, I like it. And again, wipe off with the baby wipe. And just for organization's sake, put it straight back in the package of acrylics. So far, I think that looks very simple, but still really, really effective. Now, I'm gonna use the acrylic block for one big heart for lunches. And I apologize in advance because this spread is going to take a little longer. Stamping does take a little bit longer than just placing stickers down. Perfect. Love it, love it. Now, I'm gonna leave the to buy as it is. I might add some decorative features around here, but for now I might just, like this is cute. Oops, oh come off the stamp. Okay, oh boy. So one of the other stamps I have as well is one of these rolling blocks. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from like a, ran, a, a rack bag at a planner meetup. But I want to, ah, here, maybe reminders, reminder or important, there we go. There's the important one. I'm going to stamp it here on the VersaFine block, make sure that it is all stamped, and then stamp it over there. Very, very cute wiping it off again because knowing me, I'll place that down somewhere, put my hand on it, and then put my hand on the spread and that will not be good. So taking another stamp, inking that up, making sure you guys can still see everything. And then placing that down. That is adorable if I do say so myself. I'm gonna maybe place two. You think I can fit two and then write them across? No, I think one's good. One is good. 
super duper cute. One of the things that's actually taking me a little longer this time is because of the fact that I do have to tidy up. Okay, now I feel like I can do a bit more decoration on this. Where are my florals? So, let's try some florals along the top. We'll do, I like the detailing of this one and the detailing of this one. So, I'm gonna place them on the stamp block, just one at a time. Because you don't wanna put two on there and then have it way too crowded. And this is again why I have that extra piece of paper stamp it. See how it's off the page like that? Really cute. And again, kind of angle it differently so it doesn't all look exactly the same. Oh my god, that's adorable. Then another there. That's so cute. And then one in the corner. Oh, I love it, I love it. The other thing I'm gonna do with that actually is, should I go in with black? Oh my God, see look, I've already gotten some black on the spread. And if I had an eraser, see, that's the only thing again with stamping is that I'm gonna leave marks in places. Now, where's that stamp block? I'm debating whether to do one in black, actually, just so I have the even spread of both. Should I do black? Yeah. Let's try a little black in here. So again, with my Versafine ink. Line that up. just being careful about where I put it. I love the combination of the blue and the black. Oh my goodness. I love it and I'm going to do it on the other side. Oops. Oh, I can feel that one. It was like a bit of a mistake. Okay. That one as well. Cute. I'm going to wipe that off quickly here. Get that off the pad and then focus on the other one as well. Like I think this is so adorable. It's like the equivalent of me lining up my stickers on the page. So adorable. I'm going to move the paper so I don't get ink on my actual planner. Oh, where is that coming from? I'm like looking at all of my hands. I'm getting some ink somewhere. Or it could be from this. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to be stuck with those, but the way that it looks, I think it's cute. Now I'm going to move on to the dated dashboard page here. There we go. Look at how different that looks. I'm going to need an eraser for that. Hold on. Okay, so that part of my dashboard is done. I think it looks so cute. The next thing I'm going to do is do the dated portion here. I tried to erase some of the ink marks that I got down there, but unfortunately, I'm just going to have to suck it up and deal with some of the messiness that comes with stamping. That's okay. I'm going to move this to the side so I don't actually do anything to um, further ink up or mess up what I'm doing here. First thing I'm going to do is cover that up. I'm going to cover it up with a sticker from the journaling sticker book but first do the usual white out oh my god you guys should see the mess on my desk right now 
the mess on my desk is like, oh, okay. Take one of these stickers and just place them on top. There, oh, cute. Then, I'll move this out of the way. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put my work schedule here, so I don't wanna do too much decorating of it, but I do want to put some florals there. Just a matter of which ones. Gosh, they're all messed up here, hold on. Ooh, all stuck together. I need to organize my stamps. So there's a cute little floral there. And I know there's some stars as well. So, just for decoration's sake, I'm gonna kind of decorate that area. I'm making sure that I don't have too much ink on the ink pad, even the actual ink pad itself. Um, hmm. I'm going to keep this side actually quite simple compared to this. Like this is, I feel like, a lot. Maybe, maybe I'll actually just continue the theme of the florals on the top and the bottom. Just get that uh, over and done with. Everybody. I think one of the reasons why people get so or are so apprehensive about stamping is the the work that goes into it. It if you're not already using stamps regularly and aren't used to it, then it can be a bit daunting. But I want to show you guys how you can absolutely make stamping decorative as well as functional. So on this side I'm going to change it up. I'm going to make this blue. And then the other one's going to be the black one. And again make sure that if you are stamping off the edge of your paper you have, or the edge of your planner, you do have a piece of paper underneath so that you're not stamping on your table because you do not want you do not want the ink on your desk. You guys can see, perfect. Again, clean it off with cloth. Then grab the other stamp, the outlined one, and this one I'm going to do in black. And I like the black in this one because you can see all the details already being outlined in it. Beautiful. I'm also rotating the floor a little bit so that they don't all look exactly the same. That is Oh, cute. And then I will repeat the same thing on the bottom. So do the black first. Trying not to cover up too much of Saturday and Sunday because I do still require the room for my lists. I am adding a lot of decoration this week, but still trying to keep it functional. Cute. And again, cleaning it off. When did I first start stamping? I think I first started stamping, I think a couple of years ago, after watching Jenny McGarvey do a whole bunch of stamping in her planner. And then I decided, I think it was like two years, this time two years ago, I decided to do an all stamping spread. And actually the whole month was um, experimenting with um, all stamps or all pen or all washi. And I think I did plan with me videos for all of them. So if you guys want to check some of those out, they're in 
the Plan With Me playlists. I mean, go back two years. I I think it was two years ago. Did I? No, I didn't do Plan With Me videos for them. I, I can't remember now. No, yes I did. It's two years ago that I started a plan or a planner channel. Hard to believe. All right, that is cute, cute, cute. Now, let's go back and actually start putting some functional plans in here. Firstly, I want to find the this week stamp. What does that say? Get it, oh, get it done. I couldn't read it for a second. And ink that up nicely. And this is the hard thing with these stamps is that I don't know if I'm getting it exact. And I don't think it is. <gasps> and it's upside down. Oh my god. Okay. It's a good thing this is a sticker. I'm quiet because <laughs> this is like, ta-da, I fixed it, oh my god. <sighs> okay. Another thing with stamping is that you gotta make sure that it's facing the right way round. Holy. Okay, so that's where my work schedule is gonna go. I'm gonna just make sure that it is laying down gently here. I'm gonna run a piece of paper over it so that I don't smudge my fingers. So that's where my schedule's gonna go. Holy crap. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and date that, date this. And so it's the week of the 20th. Oh, it is, there is no school. And I'm actually taking the day off, guys, on the Monday. Normally, I work holiday Mondays, but I did decide this week that I was going to actually work it. So there's 20, or not work it take the date off. I mean, I do get stat holiday pay, so if I don't work, I still get paid on that day, which is lovely. So taking all my stamps out, and then I'm gonna have to put them all back in. All right, I might just speed through this one. So those are all the dates done. Now I'm gonna go into each day and um, I guess start highlighting things that are going to be done each day. So Monday, I'm going to take one of these older stamps. I haven't actually used this one just cause I think we all go through phases of where we use things and where we don't use things. So I'm gonna take out, oh my God, the family time stamp, place it on my block cause um, it is Victoria Day here in Canada. And make sure that it is all linked up properly. It's Victoria Day here in Canada, and then my family and I are going for brunch at IHOP, and then Rob, the kids, and I are going to Jurassic Forest for the afternoon, so. And see, like, there's a, I don't know what happened there. And I don't want to risk doing it again. Hold on. I'm going to try and do this off camera because I need to really place my head right over it. Okay. One more time. Okay, much better. Much better. So that happens sometimes where if you don't place the right amount of pressure on it, it's gonna go through. The one of the things that I'm worried about though is it seeping through to the other side, but that is okay. All right, so family time on that day, Tuesday, back to cleaning. So let's find a 
their cleaning stamp chore list. I want to almost use these mini icons because these fit perfectly well in here. Yeah, I might use some of these smaller mini icons. I could take use the chore list, but it takes up a lot of space. The chore list. Yeah, it takes up a lot of space. And I don't want to do that. So put family time back. I could do. I mean I could use it. I know. I'm gonna go with the icons just because the icons are smaller. Is there one for clean? There's one for cleaning, and then one for yeah. Yeah. So these are itty bitty. One for grocery shopping, and then one for cleaning. So place that on the block. Make sure that it is covered well in ink. Oh, that looks ridiculously terrible. I think because I pushed down on it too hard, the details of it just squashed everywhere. So don't push down too hard on your stamps. And then, I'm going to leave that because I don't want to risk, these are so tiny, I don't want to risk them being lost in a shuffle. Okay, then the next day is garbage day. I can certainly do that one. Trash day. Ooh. You guys are probably thinking, why don't you get this stuff prepped before? It's like with stickers. I can't, I don't put stickers on... Um, I don't pick out my stickers ahead of time. I plan, I'm a very <laughs> fly by the seat of my pants planner. Trash day. Lovely. Actually, I like these happy planner stamps better. That other one with the tiny icons was from Recollections, and it's okay. It's, but I like the happy planner ones better. And then coffee because Thursdays I always have my coffee. Make sure that the ink is on there as it should be. This is a big stamp. Very cute. I know there's nothing else going on on the Thursdays there. And then Friday. Friday? I'm going to schedule my Manny Petty for Friday. Is there anything else going on on the Friday? This is why I have my monthly. So let me know. No, there's nothing else going on on that Friday, but Saturday is busy. So what I'll do... I'll take one of these circles. Actually, yeah. Take a circle because they still have my Weight Watchers workshop to go to. And then I'll use the Manny Petty. They, my uh, husband and, I was going to say my husband and wife. No, that's not right. My husband and kids bought this for me for my birthday. Bought me a Manny Petty and I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to place it like this. And the 25th, I just realized, is such a busy day. So crazy busy. So I might just place a couple of boxes over that. How am I going to do this? It is going to be insanely crazy. So I might separate it out into... Maybe a box for the kids. We'll do a box for the kids. Yep, a 
box for the kids' activities. Taking up a lot of space with just that, and I'm not going to get a lot of writing room. And then underneath will be... We're going out for a friend's birthday, so... Anything there that I can use? I will use a heart. Will the heart fit? Of course not. Maybe an itty bitty heart. I'm gonna see if one of these tinier icons will work. Like they are super tiny, super tiny, like ridiculously tiny. Let's see if I can. Very, very cute. And then I think the 26 is, nothing's going on yet that day. Oh, okay. Let's clear this out of the way. Let's wipe the table down. Wipe that down. I wish I could show you guys the mess. I don't think you really want to see it. What do you guys think? Stamping galore. I love the border of the stamps, but I also like how functional this is. All right, so again, stamping, mostly stamping. I think there's only like one, there's only four stickers in here that I use just to cover up some of the colors that were in here, but mainly a really cute stamping spread. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.